Is that okay? Should we do that again? Does that, does that sound annoying? I think we, let's try another approach. Okay, yeah. I'm constantly stressed about things disappearing, and that's like a lot of what I'm doing now is just like plain preservation preserving things in culture which have disappeared or bringing digital things back to life. I'm jumping between all these different things and at a certain point I just stopped trying to glue them all together or even understand what the relationship was or what the through line is. I think for somebody looking at the outside of what I do, probably material is the one thing that would be the easiest to kind of grasp onto. Well, it's usually digital and there's a kind of computer element. It's a kind of chaos that's just always kind of swirling around and I'm sometimes the last to even know or understand the relationships between the things, you know. I like the idea of trying to run a like super tight artist studio that like is organized like a tiny, tiny, tiny little corporation. Like I dreamt about having a video conference, weirdly and specifically the microphone for years. My dream for my studio would just be like cubicles and people typing on computers in a conference room with like two of these and a water cooler and like you wouldn't even know that you were in an artist studio. You would think you were in some, I don't know, some software company somewhere. You know, for me it's like all these things are just floating by in culture. It's like a stream and things are moving so fast and people f people just get kind of pulled along, you know, myself included. What I'm trying to do is just pull things out and to kind of take them into a space where people can reconsider them. Usually I'll spend a lot of time trying to figure out something that has no purpose. Uh, the easiest way to explain it, it's like a digital signage unit. So like, when you go to McDonald's or Burger King now, you know, all the menus are, are basically LCD screens and they, like, they could change and the hamburger is like, there's a pan in on a hamburger. These are the machines that power digital menus. You could have a thin piece about AI and the possibilities of digital and that is interesting, but at the same time, it's also interesting, you know, to go to a yeah, Dunkin' Donuts and order a donut while looking at a Linux computer base. You know, like, that's what this stuff, this stuff is being used for, you know, and so, and I, I don't know, it's just interesting to me. And so I, I have these around the office and me and my team have been playing with them to try to figure out what could be interesting to do with them. This has been sitting around my office for probably four years. Sometimes I buy, will buy these things because I think, oh, there's something interesting there. It's like about surveillance and it's about um, privacy. Like all, all the kind of things that people are trying to wrap their heads around, I think are kind of smashed into these baby monitor devices. Um, and you know, it's unopened, which tells you that I haven't yet figured out what to do with it. I'm always doing things that are, well, usually kind of useless or pointless. When I have a programming problem and I'm trying to do something that hasn't been done before, and it hasn't been done before not because it's amazing and great, it hasn't been done before because it's like so stupid that nobody would, would be willing to have taken the time. Like maybe myself playing video games where I, I worked with an engineer to make a little computer chip that would, that would kind of play these games in real time. And I'm always at the edge of these programming forums, being like, well, I can't quite find the solution because nobody's done this because it's so dumb. You know, that's the place that I kind of like to be. I take it really seriously, but at the same time it is like, it is like fun, you know?